In honor of generations being out of print, we're going to pick 20 winners from January 12th until the 31st. Every video we release is a chance to enter. All you got to do, subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment in all of the videos if you want more chances to win. At the end of the month, we're going to pick 20 winners and ship them something you're seeing right now. Hi, Dana Bear. Hi, Dana Bear. I got the little poopers and the Jana Bear. These are my doggies. Oh, oh, don't eat the camera. Don't eat the camera. And we have 100. Oh, there's also a monkey. Hey, guys. And we have 100 of the... What is it? It's not the three pin blisters, but of the Giratina promo three pack Corn things. Pizza. Honey, don't eat, honey, don't eat, don't eat them. Poppers. There's a, there's a popper on the cards. Oh god, oh god, there's a popper on the cards. We have 100 of the Giratina three not pin whatever these blister thing. Yeah, let's oh, do it. It's gonna you know the longest time is gonna be opening <laughs> these things, right? Right. Um. The trash, I guess I'll just throw off to my left. Okay, code is okay the code down. goes on face down. Okay. Right. You know what? I'm going to open a couple of these just to get them open. Oh, get out of there, promo. Uh, whose idea was this, Mikey? Um, I think it was yours. It was mine. Why? It was yours. Why? These promos are actually pretty sweet. They are. They are very, very good. Um, Wait, yeah. now it's face up. No, no, no. It's... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other one was the other way. Really? Yeah. Mine wasn't. Mine was like this. I don't know. Well, whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Look. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're both ways. All oh, right. Gosh. Not that we don't want to give you these twins codes, but they're like four bucks a pop. Oh, no. We're going to have a hundred of these, too. I'll put them there. Okay, I'm just going to get cracking. All right. I need 15 more secret rares. Got to dose this, by the way. I guess we'll... Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, Mikey. Oh, I'm not. I'm doing this the fast way. All right, it's gonna be the kind of like we do a thousand packs. We're just gonna throw the good stuff into the middle, and then uh, go from there. I am going to open up some, some of these packs, so we'll have them. You gonna do the uh, the annoying work? Yeah. Good, cause I don't want to. Um, not getting it. I know I was about to throw the code in the middle. <laughs> right. I don't know what I'm doing today. It's fun, too, because you don't know which way the code's face in these packs. It is a surprise. Sometimes they're face up, sometimes they're face down. Oh, get out of here. I am not getting anything, Mikey. Oh my gosh. What did you... Nothing so far. Nothing so far. <laughs> I looked up there's nothing on... I think I'm too board. deep already. Yeah. Ah, nothing! But yeah, the Garatina is... It shuts off... Uh, Greninja oh, yeah. break. For those of you that don't know, I know, and I hate Greninja. I love Greninja. This might be why I bought a hundred of these things. <laughs> Each Pokemon break has no abilities. And this is just a basic. It's a basic, not even a stage evolution. So good. It's crazy. So good. Slow King. Wow. Max Potion. Nothing. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm just going to put the codes... I'm have I have a stack of okay I'll put them there so we can keep them separated from the actual booster pack codes right makes it easier for us good Remoraid, but no octillery to go nothing not even a good uncommon <laughs> that's dumb oh no ah there we go Delphox break nice finally got something which ability gets shut off by Giratina uh puzzle of time that counts you're in there. This is this is crazy. It's intense, isn't it? It is a little intense. Oh. You know, you can just I don't know, Mikey. We we can take turns cracking into there, I guess. Sounds good. Because they are super annoying. We have a total of three hundred and fifty packs to crack through. Ah, Mega get it us full art with nice. a max elixir. That's good. I'm just gonna throw it just right here in the middle. We'll we'll try to sort this out. That's good. Later? Question mark? Question mark. We'll try. Not sure. Hashtag we won't succeed. We don't know <laughs> what we're doing. And Aldino EX. Finally, nice. we're starting to get the EXs now. Oops, try to open that upside down. I think it did pretty well so far. I'm not giving out a code. And we can give some. I know. But... It's not $500 worth. <laughs> All right. 
I'm gonna take a slight break. You can take a break. <laughs> open up some packs. I guess we just throw it in the middle. Just yeah, no real stack maintenance or anything this time. Try to move some of the stuff out of your way. All right. <laughs> we we don't have our studio done yet. It's getting there though. It is getting there. Mega got a dose with a oh, it's a max potion and a max elixir. Yeah, the computer's been ordered. The walls are up. We need to do basically soundproofing and tie it all together. That's really all we got to do. And then it's done. Mega Hound Doom. Nice. nice. Our, okay, so we are in a super rod. This is this is awkward because all these packs, the codes are all different ways. Different ways. Yep. Whose idea was this? Uh, yours. Dumb idea. <laughs> it's okay. It's fun. I it's... love it. Oh, God. Now I have to try to open this on top of all these cards. This is even worse. Right? I didn't think this through when I said we should do this. <laughs> hey, we need to open up a hundred of these. All right. Sounds yeah, good right. to me. Why not? Lol. Okay. I'll pop that out. Get out of there. Get that out. Yeah. All right. I'll crack through nope. a few more of these. I wish these things when you actually rip them nope. would open. But they just do this every time. Oh. It's gonna take us just as long as a thousand pack over there. Right? <laughs> nice full arm you two. Nice. Alright. Get out of there. Great points. Nah, Alright. Get out of there, coin. Nice! A Break Greninja. Greninja. That's the best one to get. Yes, it is. I am all ready for it. Ready for a nap. <laughs> it's crazy. They're, like, it's actually a little... Ch it's a challenge. It is. Trying Open to get things. these things open. Whoops. All right. Now I'm in. All right. I'll crack these packs. On the one. All right. And I'll go back to... <laughs> Should have had someone here just to open all of them. Right. Look uh, at you. Nice. Nice. Glaciani X. That is cool. Oh, yeah. It's actually being played right now. Oh, yeah. It's a great card. I actually play it in the uh, water box tool deck. Nice. Love it. Crystal Ray is a really good ability. No, no. <laughs> Alteria and an N. N definitely counts. <laughs> Definitely counts. Which is true. You can search for N by just typing N online now. They fixed it. Yay. Walk off, Homer Slowbro. Yeah, they did fix That was so annoying. So long. Oh, why did I do this? My back already hurts. I'm too old for this. <laughs> All right. Have fun there, Mikey. That coin is probably the worst. Yeah, yeah. Pop it out. Debo spray. That's going to make a comeback next set. A couple combos with that. Right. A couple, I think, maybe just one. Super odd. I guess we'll do a review. We'll, we'll cut at the end, and I'll actually sort what we got, maybe. Oh, no, there goes a bunch of bulk. Rip. Puzzle of time. We'll get it all later. We're too right. cramped in here right now. I guess we don't have to do Dancy. I uh a wrap of everything we got because that does punish the people that skip right to the end of the video. And they'd be like, what do they get? Oh what no. Do they get? We don't know. Because people are still watching, you know, eight minutes in right now. Right. Uh Glade's a good card, but I'm not gonna drop it down there. Not nah, gonna drop it down there. He's not. He's he went down a lot in price. I got a gold duck break. Ugh. Wah, wah. That's the booby prize. Yep. <laughs> you just shot that at yourself. I did. Urban break. Ah, Genesec DX full art. All right, we're nice, starting to get nice. stuff. Have a nice little pile going on in the middle. We done yet, Mikey? We near the end. No. Eradicate break. All right, a bunch of stuff's coming out now. This box is 
Oh, yeah, there's a lot left in that box. Ugh. It's okay, we can do it, Mike. It's for the greater good. It is. It's for 100 Giratina promos. Because that's necessary. Kingdra EX. Because <laughs> that's necessary. It's, that's a necessary thing to have. Yeah, the more cards we get on the bench. Alteria and N. See, the harder it is to open. Right. You're going to start hitting the stack. I guess I could, like... I have no idea how to do this. What is life? I don't understand things. Ooh, my pilot keeps getting replenished with packs. I <laughs> know. Nice. A stack of codes up. Slow, bro. Walk off, Homer. Need a bunch of those great. Walk off, Homer. Just because. Yeah, at least we're getting breaks, like, left and right now. That's good. Our pull ratio looks decent. It's getting a lot better. It was off to a terrible start. And as I say that, we're hitting a dry streak again. Oh. Use some good packs. Go. There you go. Megaldino. Nice. That's a card. It won worlds. <laughs> yeah. And then promptly became irrelevant. <laughs> Alakazam! Our first spoons. He has potential. I mean, I still like it. There's decks ran around it that aren't bad. He just he's slow. Yeah, the that's true. The setup is really slow. I mean, you can get a sweet, quick setup going, but it's next to impossible to pull right. off. Gengar, that's one of the three Gs in the set that's worth a dollar or more. <sighs> I don't know how I conned you into being the one that opens all the packs, oh, the blisters, but I like it. We're about to switch. Puzzle time and Bursting Balloon. All right, I can get to this stack, then we'll switch. I know Bursting Balloon's only like 60 cents, but still a great card. Might have went up a little bit now. It just seems like it's probably a little easier for you to open up. You're just saying that. No, because I'm on this side. All right, start start making your own stack of packs, then. I'll get through this, and then I'll open them. Because why not? Wobbuffet. 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 That's why not. Uh, no. Mikey, I'm hitting a dry streak again, buddy. Oh, gosh. It's all on you. I'm sorry. It's all on you. I failed. I failed at picking the right blister packs. That's okay. We have to pick them all eventually. Green code, never fun to see. Yeah, it's all on you, man. All right, I'll start cracking some of these right. open. Do, 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 do. Nah, walk off, Homer. Yeah, that counts. <laughs> Did you say that counts? That counts. That counts. Wow, this one actually opened. Right, I'll just start stacking some stuff right there. Dun, 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 dun. Mew! It's adorable, Mew. Yeah, he he was played for 2.5 seconds. Approximately, yeah. Yeah. Wow, this one actually opened, too. What is going on? What is life dun, right dun, now? Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Alright, break point, you never let me down. Let's do this. Break point to the rescue. <sighs> womp, womp. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wah. Right. Oh, oh, secret yeah. rare Mewtwo EX. Yeah, buddy. That definitely counts. It does. You can grab packs right there. Right. Just stacking in front of me because it's a lot easier that way. Right. Uh, what did we get? What did we get? What, what, what? Oh, puzzle, puzzle time. Puzzle time. That definitely counts. It almost did, and then it was there. Oh. Nice, nice. Del Fox break. I hate the way Pokemon packages almost everything. It's just, it's, it's, it's only Pokemon USA. Yeah, that's fair. Because uh, Pokemon Japan 
Their stuff comes out so nice. Ugh, not these. Yep. Oh, really? Twice? Twice? Come on. <laughs> Are you having a little trouble there? Just a little bit of technical difficulties. Now you feel my pain. Feel the pain. And the code just fell right out of these. Ugh, get out of there, promo. I was afraid of ruining the promos, popping them out. Right? Oops. Uh, we still have a couple more of these left. A couple? You. Couple. Max Elixir! Woo! That counts. That's a card. Definitely a card. We have to find those coins that I flung on the ground. And we'll get there eventually. <laughs> One step at a time, buddy. Nice. I'll put that there. I like it. Ah, I love it too. Oh. All right. Breakpoint. Let's do this. Oh, come on. You open up, buddy. Come on. Oh. It's a green code. There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, nope, nothing good, alright, you can start opening packs now, I'm gonna, um, right, clean up. Them. I like how we keep throwing the empty wrappers inside the box with all of these in it. <laughs> There's nowhere else I can throw I it. Know. We're just gonna miss a couple of these at the end. <laughs> we buried in packs. There and there, and then I'll start cracking some. Sounds All right. good. And just add to the massive pile in the middle. Do it. Oh, good start. Oh, puzzle time. That counts. Puzzle. Okay. Counts as something. Parallel city. Take me down to the parallel city. Uh, Is it, does it actually say parallel? No, no it's yeah. paradise city. Paradise. Okay. I'm like, what? He does not say take me down to the parallel city. Which would be hilarious if he did. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> I'm like, is that why they named the parallel city? That would be awesome. Mega got a dose. But no. I tried tossing them in that box is full of rappers. It is. It definitely is. Nice. Another foil double colorless. And yeah, I snuck that in there. And you count, get in there, buddy. There's that Mew again. Ultra Ball is good, but nah, it doesn't really make the cut. Nope. It's not from Sun and Moon in a secret rare while being full art. Oh, Cannot wait. Sun and Moon. That we better be getting that. We are we are getting it, right? Yes. Okay. We oh, better definitely. Be. Definitely. That would be the biggest letdown in the world if it didn't filter over to America. I hope so. I hope so. <sighs> oh, I'll be so sad. I'd be mad. I'd literally be mad if we didn't get it. What do you think about the uh, the secret energies, though? Oh my gosh. They were only released in Japan at first. Ooh. And I was like, I was at Worlds and I saw a little Japanese junior playing them. And I was so jealous. Like, I'm judging him, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need these energies in my life. I actually went and got another judge and was like, look at these secret rare energies. Where do they come from? Where do they come from? And so then I, during my lunch break, I looked them up. And they were so hard to get. And he was playing a whole deck full of them. And I'm like, we need them in our life. And then I saw them in the Japanese Sun and Moon set, and I'm like, it's about Literally time we it. had those. Right? Like an evergreen secret rare? Right. Yeah, for me for sure. Greninja's a good card. It's about a buck, but nah. We're not going to throw them in there. Basically just trainers and EXs and breaks, I guess. And breaks. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. Like, imagine if they don't print them for like another three years. Like how much secret rare energies would be worth. Right. Like, a lot. That'd be sick. I know, wouldn't it? I mean, it's... In the original Plasma Freeze, getting an Ultra Ball is not easy, except there's, what, five secret rares in that set? Right. So, yeah, not only do you have to get a secret rare, back when it was harder to get them, you had to get one of the five. And this is what Sun and Moon's kind of feeling like now, too. Especially, like, with the, the, the hyper rares and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how 
the allocations are, or the distribution, I should say. Right. Mega Hound Doom. As, it's going to be really interesting. Um, this set, this set's going to be crazy. I'm starting to learn how to say some of the new names. <laughs> I need to start studying because today's what? Today's uh, Monday. You'll probably be seeing this video on Friday, everyone. But right. it's Monday right now. Espeon, EX. Yeah, about. We have nine days until we get the pre-release pre product. Pre-release stuff, yeah. And then we have under two weeks, Mega Mewtwo EX full art, until the pre-release. So I've got two weeks <laughs> to get brushed up on everything. Right. But it's all right. You got this. Car bank break. Haven't seen you in a long time. It's not too hard. There's only a few Pokemon that's just like, what? You're like, huh? I don't understand. And plus, they're not going to be in Japanese. Yeah, that'll make so it a lot easier. So you can struggle your way through. I don't know. Some of them, like, if you look at, okay, Magirna, right? Uh-huh. I mean, first instinct is I want to say Majorna. Right. You know, it's spelled Majorna. But you just have to break it down when it says Magirna. Yeah, I mean, I understand. It's a Pokemon with a gear on its head, so right. of course it's going to be, ah, Break and EX in the same pack. Nice. And a Super Odd. Nice, nice, nice. So, like, I get that. It, it, it makes sense, but it's like, at first glance, my brain reads it <laughs> the completely other way. <laughs> Majorna. Majorna. Alright, so we're about probably, like, halfway through the box. Oh, my God. Why did I? Why did? Why did I say let's do this? Right, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I agreed to help. Yeah, I'm glad you <laughs> did, because otherwise it would not have gotten done. <laughs> let's be honest about that. Uh, uh, clean up afterwards. I it's know fun. it's a hot mess already in here. Ooh, Rainbow Force Xerneas. That's the first one I've seen of that. I think. Oh, yeah. That's still a great card. That's still a good card. First thing balloon, you get down on that. Boop. The pack, the pile. The pack. Boom. 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 Oh. Nothing good yet? Uh, nothing right home, Bob. Got it. Dry spell right now. Yeah, it comes and goes with dry spells. I'm that is for sure. Creep popping these coins right now. Ah, reverse all Garbodor is actually really good. Yeah, Garbodor is played everywhere. Every deck, I swear, is playing some type of Garbodor. Them out. <laughs> Hopefully, the person that goes through all this bulk right here knows to pull out the the Greninjas, the Garbodors, <laughs> right. and stuff. They will. They will. They're not cards worth just balking out. Even Garchomp's good. Right. Alright. Cool. Puzzle of time. Had a large stack of Gavitinus over there. Yeah. Well, it doesn't help that every single one of them bowed out of the thing. That's how they They're always warped. Always. I forgot to turn my phone on silent, but I have a Manaphy EX yeah, full art. Manaphy! What if that's Dan? Like, hey, you guys ready to open those hundred things? Oh. <laughs> Was he supposed to help? I, I just assumed he would. Oh. <laughs> Dan's usually just down to do whatever. Right. Whatever stupid idea we come up with, I guess I say I come up with. Dan's like, all right. Let's do it. Let's just get it over with. We're getting there. We are, we are. It's not it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's still a lot more stressful than a thousand packs for some reason. Oh gosh. <laughs> I agree. I a hundred percent agree. It's opening up blister packs to open up packs <laughs> does not seem productive to me. <laughs> it's a lot of oh, reverse all puzzle of time. A lot of extra packaging that we don't need to do. Super odd. Yeah, I, you know, the biggest feeling I have 
as a Pokemon unboxing channel is that I'm just destroying the universe. Because, oh my god, the environment is just getting wrecked by the amount of trash bags full of stuff that you just have to throw away. Or recycle. EX. A lot of it you can't. All the packs? They don't want the foil, foil packs for recycling. I mean, yeah, there's some cardboard, but most of it's, like, plastic or foil packs. Right. So, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need this, uh... 12 foot tower of bulk moved here soon if you oh. are able to. I'm literally reaching around it. Thank you, Mikey. You're welcome. Okay, can you get my phone on silent as well? Apparently, I'm just uh, an idiot. And You're a popular person. Didn't prep for the video that we were going to be shooting. Because, you know, why would I? <laughs> That's, that doesn't make any sense. Mega Alakazam. Nice. Alright, and then Boom. I'll help you open some more after I, I open this three packs. I got you. No, you're good. You're good. I got you. Oh, come on. Open packs. Oh, I put my arm down. That's nice, Mikey. That's uh -huh. nice being able to rest two elbows on the table now. It's the little things in life. Little things. Little thing. Alright, I'll open a few of them as well with you. Because why not? Wobble fit. Maybe I will. I don't know. If I can get in here. <sighs> Every time. The struggle is real. It's definitely real. First world problems are the worst. Right. You can definitely have this code. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done. Showed it to you uh, a million times. Good luck. Whoever got that, congrats. Uh, the code only gives you the Giratina, right? I assume. Yes, it does. It's it's funny because a lot of times you can't figure out what codes give you. It seems like, oh, this should give me packs. Nope, it doesn't. It gives you just the promo. Mega Gatados and Puzzle Time and Bursting Balloon. I think most of the things that come like that only give you, give you the promos except for like the generation packs, because the generation packs don't come with codes in them. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. I don't know, it was kind of disappointing to find out that the Elite Trainer boxes... I mean, it's sweet you get sleeves in a deck box, don't get right. me wrong, but I was like, oh, no, no packs. No packs. This is sad. Slow bro, walk off Homer. Because you, in all the packs, you actually got the codes in the packs. Yeah, oh, I understand that completely. So like, there you go. But it's like your mind just kind of thinks, hey, I should get this, right? Right. I mean, otherwise, doubling up on packs would be insane. Walk off, Homer, slow, bro. Oh. Giratinos. Okay, so... Our pre-release is not this Saturday, but the next, next Saturday, Saturday, right? The 21st. 11 a.m. Oh, I'm making you two and Marwak. 11 a.m. is when it starts. 11.45 it is when it ends the registration. So, so it basically kicks off at like noon? So, yeah. The plan is to kick it off at noon. All the time. I'm just... I just want to see... I just want confirmation of a secret rare Ultra Ball. It's, <laughs> it's all I want in English. Oh my god. I'm so... I, I'm... Oh. This block's gonna be insane. Is this the first Fighting Fury Ball we've seen? I I haven't seen you put anything up there that is a Fighting Fury Ball It might yet. be. But, That's um, weird. I'm just... I'm pumped about these Hyper Rares and, like, the all the Umbreons and the Espeons and... That Eevee that has energy evolution again? Come on. I will have me an Eevee deck for real. I don't know. I just... I hope the whole GX thing goes over really well with people. Well, some balloon. Because it's going to be weird. Think about it. It's going to be in the format for a while, so they're just going to have to get used to it. Well, think about it. When EXs are gone, right? Uh -huh. And it's just GXs? Right. Crazy. Right. The format's going to be completely different. Um, Rian EX. But a lot of people a lot of people complained about the new EXs, how you didn't have to evolve. 
and they were just yeah. basics. Yeah. So we got that when they first they first started printing those. They were. I mean, like, we get used to dumb. it, but then you get used to it. So. I mean, and I completely understand their arguments. It's like an EX seems like it should be an evolution. Right. It really does seem like it. But I mean, then again, in retrospect, I'm so glad there are a ton of basic EXs because it gives a lot more diversity to the game. Yes, the game a lot of times is based around EXs, but that's fine. There's right. so many different ones out there. Mm-hmm. I think it's fine. It worked out. That's all that matters. <laughs> but I wonder how scared like a company like Pokemon gets when they're like, we're going to change the core structure of our game and like, the way it's played, for base- or what it's based around. Uh-huh. Dropped a bunch of bulk here. I wonder if they're like terrified this is not going to go over so well, and they'll see dips in the numbers or something. Like, I'm not saying they will. I'm right. just saying, you know, when they're planning it in their corporate office somewhere. I think they might have to, though, like, predict that. They'll, they'll get some resistance, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's just so much coming with Sun and Moon. It's insane. Overall, a lot of, like, just card games in general always just choose different mechanics and things like that. You have to evolve. I get that. Like, you've got to change every now and then, or it's going to get stale. Right. But, still, I don't know. I mean, how long did we have EXs in for? Um, in the iteration that we what, have this, the, Oh, I was about to say this one? Yeah, in the current um, iteration. I'm thinking it's been about th- three, four years? Four years, maybe? Looks down. I think Was about three, four? Four, three? three or four years. Let's see, it's... Might have been a, no, it's, it had to have been longer, right? It came out uh, in Black and White Next Destinies is when we got our first EXs. Next, yeah, I mean, that was x Ball Mewtwo. Yeah. And that Next Destinies... Oh, wow, I can't think. I, I want to say it was like five years it ago. It was probably almost... Well, you know, the the shop's been open for five years, right? Well, almost six. Almost okay, six. Okay, so it's, it maybe four. So it's maybe been four, four or five years. Yeah, I would say maybe four. Yeah. Cause I remember when the first when the shop first opened, you guys went ham on uh, the next destinies. Yeah, well, that was that was right. like literally one of my oh, favorite right, sets. Right. Oh, I'm not saying it's bad. And was, that was the old like old right. location too. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is how in our old days people used to figure things out before you had Google. Right. Since we can't Google it right now, we're trying to logically deduct it. So, okay, I've been in my place, I think, for three years, like, three and a half years, I think. And that's the new one. I think. Yeah, the new one. Um, so, it'd be, you have to be before that, because the Secret Rare Ultra Ball came out, ooh, when, what, where was I during that? I don't know, regardless, yeah, if, oh, first Octillery. Nice. And Floatstone, maybe four years ago, I don't know, I don't, I right. don't know. Ish, ish. Well, you were at the old shop. I know you were at the old shop. I was the at old the shop, old shop. So. Yes. Old location. Mega Altaria? So at least three and a half years, no more than six. We right. can narrow it down to a two and a half year window. Right. How about that? <laughs> Sounds good. But I think towards the end. So I'm going to say closer to four years. And that's kids is how us in the nineties used to figure out things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a half hour conversation with your buddy trying your best to guess. To guess it. You're like who's that one guy in that one show that you saw on the one T V before? <laughs> like right. that's how it went. <laughs> yep. Uh, I like how you just gave me a legitimate confused look. You're like, Are you actually I, asking me that right I, now? Right. I was I was I was a little confused. Just like, huh? What? And you were doing a good job keeping up on these. Trying to. Great. What do we have? Like. Oh my gosh! Just out of the pack. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> rest in peace, Giotina. That's happened so many times. Ooh, mm-hmm. Stan and Zork. That was already in the pack like that. That's sad. It's. I mean, okay. A lot of people they get they get terrified when they see this with no sleeves on. I mean, honestly, Pokemon cards are pretty resilient. Like. I've never seen cards get ruined by just throwing them in a stack. But, with that said, the fact that Pokemon cards... I mean, I've had a lot of kids pull them out of their pockets before. Yeah, they get bent and stuff, but not as messed up as you would think. 
Right. Coil EX. Um, I'm not telling you should ever put a Pokemon card in your pocket. Don't do that. That's too far. It is not good for the Pokemon cards. Please but don't. Moral of the story is, if Pokemon... Ooh, there we go. Mute, Mega Mewtwo and... Nice. Wah, wah. If they're that resilient, I think... I mean, they're all the promos get messed up. Right. All promos have, like, dings in them, or they're bent, or... It's funny. They can take a beating, but apparently they, they take way too much so of a beating. They only take so much. <laughs> yep, eventually they give in. Glaceon EX, that fine, second Fine, you break. damaged me. Yeah, fine, you got me. You win. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, most of it's just bent. Typhlosion. I forgot. Typhlosion's really good, too. And you can unbend them by putting them in, like, hard plastics. Right. But still, it's annoying. Oh, let's get that cool. yeah. uh, We're about 34 minutes in. Right. Palkia EX. Max Elixir. There's another one. I don't think so. 34 minutes in? Alright, 34 minutes in. Is that, is that what I... I don't know. I'll check. <laughs> Mega Galilee EX. <laughs> At about 34 minutes in. Right, 34 minutes in. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? What? <laughs> uh, we're just losing our minds over here, people. No need to worry. It's a little delusional over here. Oh, man, there's still a lot left. Right, we're like uh, three-fourths of the way through. I was hoping to look back and see, like... <laughs> Two? Nah. Nah. Nah, nah. bro. Nah, bro. Still a lot, but no. Nah. Do, do you want to switch and I can open some of those? Mega Mewtwo Vanishing Strike. There we go. Oh, there we go. Here he goes, guys. <laughs> Have a code. Have a code. I think this far in, most of the code snipers are probably gone, right? Right? They're not going to scrub through a video this much? Probably not. Maybe. Who knows? They're dedicated. This is for the dedicated... Oh, there's a lot of dedicated snow code snipers out there. Really? It's crazy. I still don't know how they do it. So I actually gave out a Roaring Skies code during my um, collection video. Was I it like never, a messed up code or it something? Was, it was a messed up code. And I did it on purpose because when I was actually uh, getting it ready to show off, I was like, oh, I've never redeemed this code. And I was like, you know what? If someone actually really wants to check it, they can go ahead and check it. And they can have it. Why would so. you not redeem a Rung Skies code? Ah, Greninja with Greninja Break. Nice, nice. And a slow bro. Because I just, I thought... You just I, don't care about Rung Skies, I Mikey? love Rung Skies. Mikey, don't, are don't you just that. initially announcing mm, no. right now, today, that you just don't care about Rung Skies? I just actually gave someone an Easter egg, just in case someone did not check that code. Because no one would think, oh, Mikey would have been Definitely playing that redeemed code. it. Yeah. Right. So, just letting you guys know now so that what you're telling I did me, Mikey, not redeem that code. Is you, one of the things in 2017 that you hate the most so far is the Roaring Skies reprint? No. Is I, that what you're saying right no, now? No, 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 no. I love it so much. <laughs> Mikey hates that, Roaring Skies. No, it's, it's actually really great because that gives me a chance to open up a lot of Roaring Skies. Oh, yeah. Right. So, okay, <laughs> Hi, everyone, I made the biggest mistake in the world. Um, when I, okay, I had a metric ton of online codes, right? And I was like, Mikey, can you help me scan these in? It was, what, several thousand? Uh, yeah. I think. And, because I wanted to come back and play Pokemon Online even more, because uh, I wasn't playing, like, physically, really, anymore, so I wanted to jump back online and play. And so, Mikey spent all this time scanning in literally thousands of codes for me. And I think there was 800 Roaring Skies codes, something yes. crazy like that. Yeah. And I knew Roaring Skies was good. I knew it was great. And um, But I didn't realize how much Roaring Skies codes traded for right, right. on Pokemon Online. And I just, I was an idiot and didn't check. But I'm just like, I need to open all these and get a ton of shamans and then trade the shamans for what I need to catch up. And so I went ahead and cracked almost all the Roaring Skies codes. <laughs> then I realized it was only 200 codes to get a Secret Rare Ultra Ball from Plasma Freeze. So I basically opened four Secret Rare Ultra Balls. Ultra balls right? And now I am to the point where I only have two. So it's like, dang. 
But I did end up with, like, nine full art shamans and probably, I think, like, 14 baby full art, or, or not right. full arts, but baby shamans. So I traded for absolutely everything I wanted. So mission accomplished, but still. Oh, I should have checked the, uh, because I never made trades. I'm the kind of guy that I never do trades on Pokemon. Well, I never used to before I came uh -huh. back. I would just buy all the codes, keep redeeming, keep cracking until I got what I needed. Until you got what you needed, right. Yeah, I never And that's how a lot of people traded. are. Some, a lot of people are like that, too. Yeah, I just never wanted to deal with the, the auction house, whatever you wanted to call it. Right. So I just never even, <laughs> never even thought to check it. I <sighs> shouldn't have checked it, to be honest. Because now I'm still sad. <laughs> Cracked 800 packs of Roaring Skies. I am. It was fun, though, right? You oh, know? it was a blast. It took <laughs> so many hours to crack. Because, let me tell you, cracking packs on Pokemon Online is not a quick process. It is not at all. Like, I want to do a thousand pack opening online. <laughs> Woo! But it cannot be, like, a consecutive video. I'd have to not. shoot it, stop, shoot it, stop, and then splice it all together because right. it just takes so long. That animation takes so much time. I know. I wish there was a right click, open all, sort by rarity. <laughs> Woo! So I could just, I mean, I've got, I think, 300 packs of Ancient Origins. I'm never opening them. Right. I, don't, I don't care. I have everything I need from Ancient Origins. But if I could just right click, open all, sort by rarity, then I could be like, oh, okay, cool. I got some stuff to trade. Trade bait. Because, let's be fair, no one wants Ancient Origins facts online. No. no one cares about those right now. Because most everybody has everything they need. From Ancient time. Origins? Oh, yeah, by yeah. now. I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless you're somehow switching to Giratina, maybe? Maybe? But right. Giratina's, like, lost a lot of luster lately. It's still a great card, don't get me wrong. But, like, when Chaos Wheel was a huge deal, you probably would have played back then. Right. And then Hoopa, well, it's just, you get a one of. You just need one. Alright, guys. This, this is all we have left? This is all we have left. Oh. Uh, the end of the rainbow. Stack is over here. Oh, good thing the code got super messed up. Alright, I should probably start cracking some packs. Yes, crack some packs. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give you that one. I'm like, wait a second, I've just been talking and not opening for the past, like, ten minutes. Right, maybe like five. I don't know. Well, technically, you're opening. Tells the time. Blister packs. Yeah, that's not the most exciting thing to open. Right. Wow, we're getting we're getting there, Mikey. Blitzstone. I can see you the know, light at the end of the tunnel. The annoying part is gonna be sorting the codes at the end. Right. <laughs> Fates collide. Ancient origins. Break point. Wait, there's no ancient origins. No. If you find any Ancient Origins codes in here, let me know, because I'd be... <laughs> something got messed up. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> exactly. The funny part is, is, uh, Zygar DX and N. Codes, it's not... They don't mess them up very often. It's hard to find crimped ones, two off-centered ones. Right. And I don't have many of the blank codes. I mean... Yeah, I'm, out of all of the codes that I... Well, all the codes that you've opened and I've opened... I've only found myself one. I only have one. Yeah, on the channel alone, we've opened well over 10,000 packs. Right. Easily over 10,000 packs. And I don't think we found a single blank code out of all 10,000 in those packs. So, yeah, they're, they're rare. They're super rare. However, we're never going to open another pack like you did. Were that misprint that was the cut in between the two EXs. Oh my gosh. That's sitting right next to me. Right? I'll have to find it. Max you, Elixir. You know, I actually yet. got yelled at about that on, on my collection video. Oh, for not having for it? For not having it in my collection. Here it is. We opened this in one of the thousand pack videos, if you didn't see it. It's the middle. It's in between the top and bottom of two cards. I forget which card. Um, This one is, is a uh, Gardevoir. A Gardevoir? And I don't, yeah, we and don't know what's on top. top. But yeah, that was inside of one of the packs that he opened. That's so insane. So it would be like if you had... Because they sit on the sheet like this. So when it cut, you know, it cuts here. There's like a little buffer zone. That little buffer zone was cut and dropped into a pack somehow. Right. I have never seen that out of nope. the... God knows how many packs opened I've seen in my life. Yeah, a couple people were like, Where's that? Where's that? What's the little car uh, cut card? And I'm like... 
it's... Yeah, you should probably take that back with you. Upside down Espeon. I'll take it and put it in my collection, too. Yeah, you should definitely have that. That's all. That doesn't, right. that doesn't count for my misprints collections. That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Gengar and Raichu break. Raichu. I like that. Right. I like to roll my tongue when I can. Glacian. I'm not quite sure why. I'm teaching my I'm teaching myself an Italian. Really? Yeah. Nice. And so I have to I'm practicing all my So I constantly say during the day now, ragazzo, ragazzo, ragazzi. Yeah, when you do it though, like they, they work it in so like they do. gently too though. Because mm -hmm. like when I do it even it's like really harsh. I, I enunciate it. Too right, much, right. you know. So the key is just to be able to like on the fly, just be like, someone's like, did you just roll your tongue? Yeah, you know. I think eventually I'll get the hang of it. Well, you're just gonna have to like learn Italian. Another upside down card, upside down Palkia, and then just get mad and let's like start like yelling and going off mm -hmm. in Italian because then you know you talk quicker when you're yelling. Right. That'll probably get you in that uh, in that flow. Or just watch The Godfather a bunch of times, because I think one of their wives does it a lot. <laughs> Person balloon. And uh, just mimic her. Mimic her. Sounds good. Yeah. Why not? Uh, three, six. <laughs> Looks like we have like nine or ten of those left, Mikey. Right. We are like 90% of the way through after we open this. And we're at what, what minute? 45 minutes. That's not bad. No, it's really not, actually. Right there. No, I was just checking the sound. I hit the keyboard with. Oh, you hit a keyboard. Elbow, and I'm like, uh, looks like it's still recording. All and right. Mikey killed the sound. Rip me. It's okay. I'll just turn the video off real quick. <laughs> Did it all for fun, Mikey. It's all good. Uh, this. This never again. Never again for these blister packs. I agree. Not a hundred. Not a hundred, sir. Two hundred next time. Two hundred. Why not? Let's go crazy. Well, we'll also have... By the time we want to do another two hundred. Oh my gosh. Is that a misprint it's a coin? misprint coin. What? Oh, get, put that in the light. Yeah, it's... It's a misprint coin. All right, take it. Nice. That's sweet. Nice, nice. All right, mine. That goes in the collection binder now, too. Um, oh, by the way, I saw someone on Facebook who posted, you know those, uh, the square white thing for coins? who look like coins? Yes. Like actual mint coins? Right. The guy had a trade binder full of that, of just, he collect one of every Pokemon he, coin. Yeah, um, one of my friends, he actually does that. Yeah, that was the coolest looking binder, uh -huh. like, ever. That I was agree. such a good idea. That literally made me want to start doing the same thing. So I'm like, oh my god, you found an actual really good way to store it. By the way, I got a Bronzong and Bronzong break. They actually have like little coin slots too. Like binders for coin slots. So you That's just cool. slide them in. I so think it's cool. actually for real coins. Oh, of course. So. Goldock break. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about collecting, like, coin or collecting oversized cards. There's, like, right. no good way to do it. You no, know? someone actually put sent it to me on Facebook. I think he There's has a, a prototype of a full art, I mean, uh, actually oversized Pokemon cards. What? And there's a binder full of them, and it's really, it looks really slick. Huh. I'm actually about to eat uh, Facebook on back. At least for pins, you can just, like, stick them places. Right. <laughs> you know? Actually pin them to things. Don't carry them around with you, though. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. Because, uh... When I went to London, one of my judge friends... Get in trouble for having she, no, a weapon? No, 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 She had them on her backpack. And her backpack had a location where it was made just for pins. Like, you're supposed to put them, the pins in this location. And it's supposed to hold them. Her pins are just falling out. What? Yeah. I caught, like, a couple of them. I'm like, hmm. Aww. She lost, like, two of them. That's she was sad. sad. She was sad. <laughs> And now someone in London has a Requaza pin. <laughs> right, right. <Requaza laughs> pin just floating around right. in London. Boop. Oh, not far enough. Come on, Mikey. Perfection, buddy. Oh, my brain. This 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 blister packness is just frying my brain. We're at the end, buddy. 
We're at number six. We only have six blisters left. You have a whole host of packs next to you, right. though. I'm going to have blisters on my finger from opening these blisters. Yeah, I can't believe I roped you into somehow opening all of them. No, that's all good. Not quite sure how that occurred, but I'm glad that it did. <laughs> Man, I still feel like our numbers are going to be light on this for where we'd want to be. Because, I mean, opening 350 packs, right? Uh -huh. That's essentially, it's 10 packs shy. Did you say 350? Or wait, no, no, no. 300. 300 packs. Yeah. Okay, so we're essentially um, one and a half boxes shy, right? Uh -huh. One and a half boxes shy of 10 boxes. Right? Yes. Could be 360? Correct. So maybe two-ish, a little less than two. I'm trying to do the math in my head here. Using a fraction of boxes makes it hard to guess how many EXs we should have. Ah, right, we'll see. We want to see where we come at around 50. Is where because 50 would be 10 really good boxes, so we're gonna say that 40. I'm gonna say 42. If we're okay. over 42, we are way above average. Sounds good, to me. right? That's my guess. Is that right? It sounds right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just base it off of eight boxes. Let's just say it that way. All right, if I base it off of just strict eight boxes, mm -hmm. you would be wanting to get 40 EXs out of it. Okay. Because five EXs out of a box is a, a good box. Uh -huh. Less is acceptable. Right. You busting out a calculator now? I am. Uh... Just do uh What do you, what do you, what's that? 2.7777777. What is that? 2.7777. So it's like two and three fourths boxes. About. What is? Shy of 10? No, that's how many? 100 packs is two. No, we have 300 packs. 300 packs? Yeah, we have 100. Oh, gosh. Three pin. Hey, first three, uh, full art supporter. Divided by, there you go. So you're looking at right. 300 so divided by th 36. 8.333. Right. Okay, eight, that's not bad. Eight and a third. Eight and a third. So basically, if you just kind of round the other one up, so you would say 42. Bam! 42. Right? Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, so we that want. That was good. 42. Omnistar, not the one I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. Is that another misprint? Yes. Nice. Two misprint coins. This one's like worse. And the second Fighting Fury Belt. That one's a lot worse. Nice. Sweet. I approve. Ooh. Okay, so we want eight full arts, 42 total EXs. That's. That's where we'd want to have it as a bunch of really decent boxes. So, bam. Puzzle time, burst of balloon. Which I will review all of this stuff at the end. Actually, if you've been watching 52 minutes in, you're probably, you're probably in it for the long run. Right. I hope. You just don't skip all out right. in the last dun, 15 dun, dun, packs. Dun, dun, dun. Last, last one. Last pack. Alright. Alrighty. Come on. All right, Mikey, I'll start opening blisters now. <laughs> My turn. Oh, well, thank you. I'll clock in. Thank you so much. I don't know how I haven't knocked this stack of cards over. This stack is literally coming up to my chin almost. <laughs> I'm just, I'm surprised I haven't knocked it over, actually. Get out of here, little rapper. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> little rapper, yeah, I see, I see what you did. <laughs> see what you did, Mikey. <laughs> All right. And upside down, Scizor, with a Garchomp and a Fighting Fury Belt. Nice, that was, that was a good pack. That was a good pack. Uh, Floatstone. I'm almost done with my packs, Mikey. How about you? Um, Garbink. I just cleared up all of your cards of bulk there. You did do all the tedious work. So... Omnistar. Every time I open a Gold Duck or Omnistar break, I get really sad when I realize it's not a Greninja. All right, nice. Puzzle time. Wait, what pack is this? What? Oh, I, what, what? Oh, Breakpoint didn't do this. Didn't do what? Oh yeah, Breakpoint's break too old. I forgot. I yeah, the like, green wait, code, white code. Green code, white like, code. Why do I have a scissor? Why do I have a scissor? And that was it. Mega Hound Doom. I don't know. Do you think we're gonna hit the forty-two? 
I think so. I think we can do it. I think we did. I think we hit a lot of stuff. Meow. Meow. Del Fox, we hit a lot of breaks. We did. I can't give a break guesstimate because it definitely varies by set on how many breaks you get per box. Right. First and balloon, reverse hollow. Don't be a bad person. It's okay, all the codes need sorted out. Nice. Right. Man, if you upside down. So many upside down cards. Reactors. Right. Super ride. Thank you, sir. I'm only going to go over the EXs and the breaks at the end. I'm not going to break down by like, oh, this many super rides, this many whatever. Right. It's not like a thousand pack opening. We don't really care about the financials. This is just for funsy. Mega Mewtwo. Funsies. Mm -hmm. But we should do the last pack thing, though. Oh, okay, we can do that. Because I'm on the last it's pack. It's tradition. Me too. So you go. Bam and bam. Right. I don't even know what set I'm opening, actually. I don't either. Perfect breakthrough. <laughs> Spoink. I like the buzz. Solstice. Feral Seed. Binnacle. Uh, Esper. Rylu. Staryu. Min. Wait, that's the uh, Minchino, right? Minchino, right? Yep. Minchino. Blitzel. My brain sees that as a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that. <laughs> Strong energy. Swana. <laughs> Cinchino. Or <laughs> yeah, Cinchino. <gasps> Puzzle. Fairy drop. Arcanine. Corbink. Uh, Scropey. Mew. And a Seismitoad. Not the Seismitoad we're looking for. Not. We should have ended up with 42 to 43 EXs based off of box count numbers. That would be... About 34 EXs and 8 full arts. If we get above that number, <clears throat> we win. We don't count breaks in there because it varies by set. So first of all, with our break count of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 breaks, which seems to be well above average, honestly. One secret rare, one full art trainer, which is kind of funny. And then let's check this number. This number needs to be around 34. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, exactly. So it seems like we're ahead on breaks. We're even on these. If we have more than eight full arts, I say that we we won the we won against the odds. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen full arts. So in this hundred opening of three hundred packs. We definitely did better than the odds. If you enjoyed what you just watched, go ahead and check out another video of ours right here. If you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button. If you want to check out our web store, you can find it right here. And better yet, if you want to support our channel so we can keep doing what we're doing without spending a single penny, go ahead and check out the description below. Thank you for watching.